In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this website here. It is a WordPress style CMS. There is no theme, no plugins to install. There are no security flaws and there is no expensive hosting. But this is not just any CMS. This has AI at its core. When you log into the admin panel, you can go here to say, manage all posts. You could add a new post for adding a title. It automatically creates the slug. Click the magic wand thousand words, add our keyword, accounting, include an FAQ, bang, generate the content. Once the content's generated, we can generate the image, we can do the excerpt, it'll do the meta title, meta description, we can select our category, publish it, select our author, featured, not featured, all the familiar things like WordPress, but modern and secure and doesn't look like that which come out of the early 2000s. When we publish our blog, it's going to look something like this, but you might be thinking, that's great, but it's probably built using React and Lovable, and these blogs and pages will not rank on Google. Well, this uses enterprise-grade SEO. If I go over to Google Search Console, you can see we're on reactseo.dev, and you can see at the moment we have two index pages. They're indexed because I pushed them through for speedy indexing, which you can do in the console, and here they are here. Indexed, indexed, listed, and ranking on Google. You can also go to Google and put the prefix site and the website here, and you can see again, they are here on Google. Now, if you've been a WordPress user for a while, one of your go-to plugins is probably for page speed because WordPress is rubbish with page speed without adding a plugin. So you might think, how do we deal with that in, in this build? Well, it's quite easy. We'll go over to pagespeed.web.dev, which is Google's page speed testing site. Let's enter it in, reactseo.dev, and let's see what we get straight out of the gate no plugins, no modifications, just hosted on Netlify. Okay, so we've got performance, accessibility, best practices, and SEO. We've got two 100s, 93 and a 96. That's on mobile. That is exceptionally good. On desktop, even better, 98, 96, 100, 100. So we don't need to do anything. So let's build this thing. All right, so what do we need to actually build this? First, we do need a lovable.dev account and lovable does give you five free credits every day. Next, we do need a Superbase account and Superbase allows you to have two projects for free. Also need Netlify and you can publish and host on a custom domain for free with Netlify, so that's easy. And the other thing we need is a PRD, so we can do this really quick. And so the PRD for this is available in the Online Ninja community, and it will be in this folder here called Lovable SEO. So I'm just taking a copy of it now, and we're gonna head over to Lovable. All right, so I'm over here in Lovable. The only other thing I have done already is hooked up the Superbase database. You can see it's connected here. It says 212 temp. If I go over to Superbase, here it is. If you don't know how to set up a Superbase project, pretty easy. Once you've got an account, just big button says create a project and just a couple of clicks and you're good to go. It's pretty straightforward. And then in Lovable, just on this plus button here, you can connect Superbase. And I've got the PRD. I can just paste it in here. Now note, it is massive. So I'm just going to paste it in. Nothing else to do except hit go. And let's see if we can build it. All right, so our first build has completed. It actually took about 15 minutes, and I did ask for a couple of things when it finished. I asked it just to confirm that the authentication was done, and I replaced just a plain background with a stock image. So that is where we're at now. Next, I just need to check the authentication is going to work, what the admin modal looks like, and that we can add blogs, and then we check the SEO. All right, so it looks like the authentication was set up, and it's all good to go. One hot tip I've got for you here, if you go into Superbase and you go to authentication, authentication, and then sign in providers, by default, the username and password one is turned on. You can add a whole bunch of others, there's endless options, but the simplest is username and password. Just toggle off this confirm email. That means while you're testing and building, you don't have to worry about getting the email link and pasting it back and all that kind of stuff. So it just speeds things up a bit. As mentioned a bit earlier in the video, we are using GitHub and we are using 
Netlify. So as soon as you've integrated your lovable project with GitHub, it's available to import into Netlify, which is what I've done here. And you can see this project is now live at the URL shown up here in the green. Alrighty, so I've jumped back over into Lovable and we can have a quick look around before we log in and then we'll go to the admin section and that's where we can manage the CMS part of this like the blogs, the authors and that type of thing. We've got our menu up the top, pretty stock standard, it's all working so if I click on pricing it takes us down here, if I head to services, we go up to the accounting services so all pretty straightforward. Now to log in and authenticate, we go to sign in, so we'll just sign in. Pretty basic, we have a placeholder blog that's here. So we've got total post one, publish one, draft zero, account settings, content management. This is where we can add new authors. I've added in a couple of placeholder ones. So just to make it a little bit easier to get started, but obviously you can edit them, remove them, update them. So let's have a look over in the content management. We'll go to manage all posts and then we'll create a new post. Now, the way this should work is we enter in a title, it'll create the slug, and then we can use AI to generate the content. So if I say accounting tips for small business and press tab off that, we get this generate. We just hover on it. We can see a little magic wand here. If I click on it, it should generate the content. Obviously, there's a little bit of formatting and layout issue here. We need this to be a bit wider, but that's pretty easy to do. We won't worry about that now. So we'll click on this. We get the new modal, which is good. So I'll go for 500 words and we can put in a keyword here, say accounting. And you can add up to five keywords by default here. Obviously you could change that, include an FAQ, sure. Generate content. All right, let's see what happens. Now, while this is generating during the build process, it did ask me for my OpenAI API key, which I did provide it, but it's easier to skip that bit rather than to remove it from the video because we don't want to be sharing API keys. That has worked. You can see just in the one click, the way this has decided to build it, it has generated also the excerpt, the content in markdown format. If you're doing this and you get some kind of weird text coming in here, it probably hasn't been passed correctly. So you can just ask Lovable to make sure this is markdown. We have the meta title has been generated, the meta description. We can select a category, say bookkeeping. We'll go for published, an author, we'll go for Michael. But we need an image. So this should use DALI 3, the OpenAI image model. So we'll see if it'll generate an image for us. Okay, it says successful. All right, there it is. So we have our image. Now you can obviously put in your own image if you have one generated or one specifically, otherwise you can use the AI generated. Now we just need to see if this is going to actually create and go live. Well, it said successful accounting tips for small business, but the real test, I guess, will be to look over on the live site to see if it's there and we can check it out. So just heading over to the live site, which is AICMS212.netlify.app. We can see that up in the URL. If I click on pricing and home we can see it's all live i'll just refresh it to make sure that blog if it's there it's been brought through so hopefully if i click on blog we've got two we've got the placeholder one and the one i just did which is this one accounting tips for small business there it is it is working it's coming through i only selected 500 words so it's going to be a fairly brief blog it looks like it's done it as more of just a, a list very basic but you know you can go to 750 thousand one half thousand words and also because you're the owner of this you can adjust the prompt to generate any kind of article you want keep that in mind that you're going to own this and you can manipulate it to do exactly what you need all right let's move on to seo to get the seo working we need to go back to online ninja the seo for a react app can be a little bit tricky so i have developed this script here that can be pasted into lovable that will do all the heavy lifting for you. So it's only available in the Online Ninja AI community. It'll be the first link in the description. And basically what you need to do is copy this, paste it back into Lovable, and let Lovable do its thing. It's going to create a couple of files. And basically what it's doing is allowing for the HTML to be served server-side when Google crawls that website. And so what this means is the information that Google needs like the metadata and the meta description 
all of that is available to be crawled and you won't get this page not found. The other thing that happens is each page is unique and we can take a look at that. This blog article will have its own meta title and description as will this one. Also worth pointing out that when Lovable is working through the instructions to create this SEO method, it will ask you to create a couple of environment variables in your Netlify account. So you go to project configuration, go to environment variables, go add a variable and you'll add something along the lines of this, a Superbase service role key, which means that Netlify can talk to Superbase and also the Superbase URL. And with that done, you should be good to go. And we can test this out now. So going back over to our app, we can press control U to see what Google will see. And here we go. So the title says essential accounting tips for small business. And that is the meta description. So that appears to be working all right, but we can check the other one as well. So if I go back, accounting tips, click control U, we have top accounting tips for small business and explore essential accounting tips, etc. So they've got unique titles, unique descriptions. It's instantly appearing, which is good for Google. It's looking pretty good. Now we can do one other test. So I've just opened up PowerShell. I'm on Windows here and you can see I've added in this URLs. It ends in accounting tips. That is the blog we're looking at here. And if I hit enter on this, we can see exactly what Google is going to see. So it's just another test to make sure we're not going to get page not found, 404s, redirect, etc. And again, checks out top accounting tips for small business. It's unique description. And one last test for our brand new site. We need to check the page speed. Make sure nothing dodgy is going on. So we'll just paste it in here. There's our URL, analyze. And there's our results. So all looking pretty good. 90, 90, 192 on mobile, which is excellent. And on desktop, 96, 96, 192. So we have enterprise grade SEO. This is the same kind of SEO that Shopify uses with React. We have super fast page speed. And now we have an app, which is a template. We can clone this and create as many of these as we want. I hope you got a bit of value from this video. If you did, consider giving a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want the templates, the PRD and everything else, head to the first link in the description.